Hello and welcome to my Pokemon world. I'm on my mission to build them all Pokemon in Minecraft. I want to fill this Minecraft world full of Pokemon and I'm not building just static statues. I'm trying to bring them to life on a survival friendly scale. For example, the Squirtle Squad or playing Bulbazar or sleeping Charmander. You can check out my previous videos after you watch this one. Admittedly, the previous episode was a while ago, but trust me, the project is pretty much alive and I aim to continue working on it. So I was thinking, what if I get back to this project with something quite simple? And do you know anything simpler than a circle or a sphere? Yeah, a sphere. Building a sphere in Minecraft is a bit challenging, it's a bit blocky. But there is so much you can do with just a simple ball and transform it into... I will open you a little secret. Pokemon that I'm building are not random. I build them based on your comments. You decide what I build next. For example, in next episode I will try to build Lucario. So remember to subscribe if you want to see that. If you want to see me build your favorite Pokemon, just leave a comment down below and I will try my best. And I will open you another secret. I'm still playing Pokemon Go. I started playing since the beginning and I'm still playing it. I'm not the most hardcore player, but I quite enjoy it. And recently there has been Polyvac Community Day. Community Day in Pokemon Go is the 3 hour window when you have a chance to catch shiny of your favorite Pokemon. This time I was extremely lucky. Stick until the end of the video if you want to see what I mean by that. For now, let's go back to drawing board and trying to design Polybot. Building swirls on such a small scale is very hard. I use the combination of blocks, slabs and stairs to create such a swirl effect. Also, I tried to make it a little bit bigger. The bigger you go, the easier it is to make the swirl effect. But I don't want to make my polywag much, much bigger. It needs to be small. Also, I tried different styles of ice. What do you think about it? Upgrading polywag to its evolution is very, very easy. You just remove its tail and add hands and you get polyviril. Polyviril, one of those. For polywag tail, I used the glass. I think it works quite well for it. Just need to remember to remove this. Polyviral doesn't have it. Now I think they are ready to be placed in my world. Look at it. I think it looks very very cute. I think it fits quite well on the spot. Standing on the shore, looking at Polyviral. Right below the squirtle squad. Looks like they're all standing and looking at those polywags playing in the water. And yes, I placed the polywag playing in the water, just like that. I just turned it 90 degrees and looks like it's swimming and searching for some seashells. Or maybe treasure. I need a bit more. Why don't we add another polywag jumping out of the water? Well, now it's just standing on the water like a polywag Jesus. So it really needs something to add to make it seem like it's jumping out of the water. So let's make an illusion that it's dragging the water on its feet. Also, I thought about adding some bubbles. If I place this magma block right under this polywag, it should add a little bit of bubbles. Unfortunately, with these shaders you cannot really see them, but it adds a little bit. Now it actually looks like it's jumping out of the water, so it adds a little bit of dynamic to this picture. You know what? I really like it. This Polyvac family. This bay is getting more and more full with Pokemon. It actually comes to life, just like I imagine. And you know what? I still have a little bit of energy. I feel like doing one little addition to this scene. You remember how in the beginning I said that you can do so much with just a simple ball? So would you look at that? What is this? It's an Oddish. I see another Pokemon! Where? There's a Pokemon! Something's over there too! What? That's a Poliwag! Go! Oddish has been registered. Poliwag has been registered. 
look at the kid face. It was so so easy to make Odish in Minecraft. I just added feet and eyes and mouth to a simple ball. And then I just built these leaves. And materials are very very easy and accessible. Moss block, green concrete powder and green terracotta. And that's it. Here is your Odish. It looks so cute. And it's very very good addition to my world. So what do you think about my today's build? Do you like it? Did I do any mistakes? Would you change anything? Let me know in the comments down below. And yes, all the downloads are available on my Planet Minecraft account. I think for the next episode I have to expand from this little bay. It's getting a little bit crowded. So let me know in the comment below what should I build next. And before you go to check out my previous videos, I want to show you something special. During Pokemon Go Community Day, I got 100 IV shiny Poliwag. This is so, so rare. Yes, finding shiny is quite high chance, 1 in 25. But finding 100 without weather boost is more than 1 in 4000. So if you multiply the odds, finding shiny 100 is more than 1 in 100,000 chance. It's so, so rare. I'm really happy I got it. I debated for a very long time on how to evolve it and decided that I want to evolve it into Politoad. Yes, Poliwrath may be a little bit stronger, but I really like the Politoad shiny colors. So I have a question to you. How should I name it? You can leave your suggestion in a comment below. Would you evolve it to Politoad or would you choose Poliwrath? Also I'm quite curious, do any of you still play Pokemon Go or am I just late at the park? Anyway, remember to like this video if you enjoyed my build. I appreciate all of your likes and comments. They are so so important to me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see what I will build next. So, see you in the next video. Bye!